Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. Well, we've got a quest to find something called Inubrix for Verask, the Wild Fist. We're going to go out to the map and see if there's a location marked for this. If not, then we're just going to head back to the capital and uh, see what's happening with kingdom management stuff. Okay, we do have a marker here up at the Technic League encampment to get Inubrix for Verask. So we'll head up there and see what we can find. That's interesting. It's um, fogged over again. Like, because I'm pretty sure we've been here. I think this is where we picked up Ragongar and Octavia. Well, let's walk around this upper ridge. See you. We've got Technic League folks over here. We do. Oh, bandits. Okay. So we've got four bandits here at least. All right, let's. Let's actually start off with a big fireball here. We got a transmuter. Yeah, these guys are going down. <laughs> I'm guessing we were supposed to have come here a while ago. It took us a long time to build the workshops for all the, here's the Anubricks, for the artisans. We were kind of slow on doing that. Now they've all got all their quests for us. Okay, if that's everything here, then let's head back to Verask. We had one new kingdom event pop up, full-blooded. Many of those at court are surprisingly pale as of late. Eerie shadows dance along the palace's halls and servants vanish every night without a trace. They say this is all the doings of vampires, who are hiding among the capital's aristocracy. But can such rumors be trusted? Jathel's on that. Okay, we're back here at Shambling Steps. Let's deliver the Anubrix to Verask and see what he has to say. I brought you the metal you need. Perfect. Now I have enough material. But here comes the hard part. I need blood. An enemy's blood. The creator of this hammer hardened it in the blood of a sworn enemy. This made the hammer incredibly powerful and furious. Should you want to reforge it, it will require another such hardening. Okay. I'm old. Most of my enemies are dead. But there's one that's still breathing. The witch that slew my family. Oh, how I would love to harden the hammer in her blood. I could never defeat her, though. But I know she's been spotted in an isolated outpost in the forest. She has a disgusting mark. She's missing two fingers, and she's got the look of a devil. If you slay the wretch, collect her blood, and bring it to me, I'll give you the reforged hammer in exchange. I don't have anyone to leave it to. This will make you a clan member avenging my family. Okay. So, let's go find the blood of Verask's enemy. Okay, it looks like there's somebody at this secluded lodge. Don't see any witches here yet. We do have a lore religion check over here. Oh. There is Aristotle's holy symbol above the fireplace. The god of the hunt and family ties protects this place. So let's maybe look upstairs here. I guess we could talk to Dumra here. Maybe it is Dumra. She's been hiding out in this lodge. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything uh, suspicious going on upstairs here, so let's go back down here and speak with Dumra. Okay, well, maybe in the back room. Well, I don't know. Let's talk to this adventurer. There don't appear to be any witches hanging around. Is this maybe another one where we have to uh, randomly stumble upon them on the road? She's said to be hiding in a secluded lodge in the south. Well, that's where we are. I checked all the rooms upstairs, but maybe we missed something. I wonder if there's like a perception check or something. It's like hiding inside a bookcase. Oh, here. Stranger. The girl is eyeing you expectantly, her hand laying casually over her weapon. The hand is missing its two smallest fingers. 
Who do I have the pleasure of addressing? I'm Cain, the king of these lands. Who are you? I am the last wall inquisitor. I am Ide's servant. I'm looking for a dangerous criminal. His trail leads to the stolen lands. The rascal is the only remaining member of the gang that spread terror across the lands. I took a vow to put an end to their bloody tale. What has this criminal done? The half-orc formed a gang with his wife, sons, and daughters. Ayamide alone knows how many people he killed for their money, how many children he deprived of parents. His whole family was awash in bloodshed until my comrades and I tracked them down and put an end to the violence. Only Verask managed to escape. I couldn't let the criminal go unpunished and swore to pursue him until one of us falls dead. I only here lost his track at the edge of the swamps of the Stolen Lands. You would hardly take an interest in this matter if you weren't involved. Do you know anything about Verask? Where is he now? Say the word and I'll rid your lands of the bastard. Um, Verask is on the right side of the law now. He won't hurt anyone. The girl studies you for a moment and then speaks with regret. Do you think I'll give up on my mission just like that? I won't. I know he's alive. I know where he is. He's in your capital, right? Even if he's not there, he must be somewhere nearby. I shall keep looking until I fulfill my vow. All right, I need Verask, and he wants your blood. It's as simple as that. Yeah! Entertainment. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can handle this stranger. Nice. Oh, we just need to pull a vial of blood out of here. The blood of the murderer of Verask's family. Okay. There are many roads to success. All right. So then it is back to shambling steps. Okay, Verask. Here you go. Here's your vial of blood. I brought you the blood of the one who murdered your family. The old man slaps himself on the thigh, happy enough to dance. Yes, my clan is avenged. Haha. -ha. Old Verask outlived you, you arrogant witch. Oh, how I would love to taste her blood. It must be so sweet, but I can't afford the pleasure. I'm going to need every bit of it to harden Earthbreaker. Okay, you lied about the murder of your family. It was the Inquisitor. The old man looks at you angrily and warily. Yes, it's true. Our family committed some pre petty sins. But do I want revenge for my family less because I'm a little light-fingered? Verask licks his lips. So what are you going to do now? Uh, just hold up your end of the bargain and we'll be good. Thank you. I'm an old man, but, but I wish, I still wish to trample the ground a little longer. Okay, get to work. All right. He has everything he needs to reforge obliteration. So we're just going to wait on that. Oh, we need to wait, I guess, to run into these poachers. And we're waiting for the next development in the Ancient Curse. We're going to head back to our throne room in Tuskdale. Okay, we're back in Tuskdale, and I'm going to actually call this here. I'm actually not feeling too well, so we're going to make this a short episode and next time try to jump into the kingdom affairs here so thanks for being here i really appreciate it and i hope to see you again next time here in the stolen lands bye bye